This episode of Texilla is sponsored by Audible. Time to get our HD Nation on, ladies and gentlemen. Media boxes. Media boxes. Talking set top, media streamers, video slurpers. Hey, we're always excited to see a new way to get your video on your HD TV. Patrick's been hands on with the new Roku 3. Dude, what's the word? It's tiny. It's dense. It's, a it's awesome. <laughs> it's a little black box. It is. This may be the best $99 set top box out there right now if you don't have millions of dollars tied up in iTunes content. So it's pretty, it's small. We'll talk about the box in a second. Biggest change is the new interface. Should be available now on all the Roku boxes, but it's snappy. I mean, you're, you're looking at like nine different uh, channels at a time. Actually, it's, yeah, nine channels at a time, and uh, or I should say like nine and three halves. But what's really awesome is basically every time you click, you get uh, three new channels in every click. Um, it's a snappier feel. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. And look at this, kids. The channel store is built in, so no more horrible sub-menus to go in and find additional content. Of course, the games that they've been adding in for the last few episodes, you can purchase games out of here. You can password lock the games to make sure your kids don't uh, add millions and millions of ones. Pandora's got a new interface. Plex, I love Plex so Hello. much. Hello. Yeah, it's funny. Very so cool. it's, it's essentially an always-on box and it just moves really fast. So let's say I want to go into Amazon Instant Video and I hit OK, and Amazon Instant Video is launching the that. catalog. That isn't bad Boom. For, for a tiny black yeah. box. Why is it so quick? It is so quick mostly because of the, uh, the new uh, Broadcom ARM Cortex-A9 dual core chip. So it's got a much, much faster processor. Uh, it's an always-on design, so oh, nice. you know it's going to be sipping a little bit of power in the background, but that means snappy response as soon as you hit the remote control. Really, it's it's like, you know, I can turn this on, and then I wait about a minute, and my projector's ready. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned before, it is a dense little hockey puck. They're going for enough weight to give it some heft. Um, Any kind of mounting option on the back, or is it designed just to Well, it's funny, right? So you know, it's super clean design. The whole bottom is, is uh, not the whole bottom, but the edge of the bottom has this no-slip rubber design. So you can see the edge of this. This is all no gotcha. slip rubber. It's to try to keep it from being pulled off the back of your, you know, counter or something. So Wi-Fi is on board. Oh, nice. Ethernet, HDMI. Notice the SD outputs are gone from this generation of Roku. Thank you. Um, there's a micro SD slot buried under the HDMI cable really? that you're not going to be able to see. <laughs> yeah, and also a USB port for adding in, uh, you know, cool, basically side loading content. You know, a 64 gig micro SD card isn't that expensive anymore. No. So that's that's pretty awesome. I have one in my phone. Too. They're bordering on cheap. Ten bucks, and you can get the Roku mounting system, and they'll basically, you know glue it to the back of your TV. Nice. And you can do that because of this remote, but we're not going to talk about the remote just not yet. Not yet. Oh, it's like well, my okay, favorite so, things. I mean, the biggest thing, right, is is the whole point is, do we mention how snappy this was? Let's search. I, that new processor search for, makes this very usable. Yeah, uh, well, you know, okay. You, you still even, gonna, even during setup, when it was just doing network detection and things like that, that process was smooth as could be, too. It, I don't feel like I'm using an underpowered device, something that has at least as much oomph as my, my cell phone does nowadays. Yeah, and, and I like, like we mentioned, it is fast. So Menu I'm going to go for Nickelodeon, and I'm going to play something in SpongeBob SquarePants, and it's on our local Wi-Fi. The biggest problem with this, whoops, apparently Patrick hasn't entered in his Amazon Prime yet. Hey, now. <laughs> so we'll play around with that later. But I hit the home button. It's going to snap back. And look, kids, it's just fast. I like how fast it is. So content. If you want content, um, this closing in on a thousand channels, like 750 plus. Tons you're never going to watch, like Bob's video channel. Uh, but Netflix, Amazon, Hulu Plus, our beloved Revision 3, HBO Go, Pandora, MLB, NHL. MLB. Well, you start looking at the channel store, right? And it's just, um, let's see, featured MLB, Daily Bird, oh. Amazon.com, PBS. Um, There's a lot of good content there. Ooh. Dropbox. Hey now. Hey now. We're gonna play around what with that the? later on. Ooh. Fox Business. <laughs> Does that mean I, I, anything I have in my Dropbox folder? I could. Hey now. Hey now. Now I'm thinking. Yeah, you know, mm. but basically, like right, you've got weather channels, you've got sports channels. So sports is like you know MLB, NBA, Game Time, UFC TV, NHL, CBS Sports, MLS. Uh, I consider some of the Blu-ray players I look at recently that have integrated app support. Mm -hmm. This just seems a little zippier. A little, a little clean, definitely cleaner as far as the interface goes. Yes. And uh, this looks like it belongs in a home did, theater environment. Did I just add a channel? Oh, <laughs> oh yes, I did. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. So, um, look, obviously the performance is really exciting. Let's talk about the most excellent Wi-Fi oh. Direct remote. Does not require line of sight because it is Wi-Fi Direct. It is wireless RF. It is not IR. Awesome. Um, and what's kind of crazy about this? So it's got a standard kind of Roku layout. And if I lean over here. 
It's got this a rubberized older... back on it, similar to that bottom you were pointing out. Well, on it's the... basically, you know, this is the older generation Roku, and this is the new generation Roku. So they basically, they knew this fundamentally works. You know, these are the game buttons they added on not too long ago. And then what's oh. really, really cool... You could turn that sideways for the full-on game controller. Oh, no, it gets even better, dude. Ah. What's that? What's that? What? What? What's what? that? Uh, uh, that oh, looks that's like a, a headphone jack. That is a headphone jack. <laughs> because nice. it's Wi-Fi direct, um, what um, it'll do is if you're playing something... I'm having flashbacks to my 3DO game console. As well as you notice, I'm not even pointing this in the direction of the box. So... I've got a little volume control here on the side. That's slick, man. And if I actually manage to hit play just this once, come on, kids, hit play, and you'll play the video. <gasps> so the video is going to start streaming. From the channel you just added? Oh, oh, that's amazing. I can listen without waking up the baby or my wife. Uh, it automatically will mute your TV. It's so not Bluetooth audio either, is it? Oh, listen to that. So you hear it on the TV? Oh! oh man, this is going to save relationships. <laughs> I like that. I just, I just, oh, that, that's, stop. that's simple. <laughs> simple. It is awesome. Seriously. What's the audio quality, though, coming through that port? Is acceptable. It, okay, More it's not, acceptable. is it like a Bluetooth downgrade? When no, you're... this is, look, this is, this is Wi-Fi Direct. Gotcha. Do you stream your uncompressed FLAC files over wireless? Yes. Yes, over Wi-Fi. Yes, this nice. will handle it. I'm sure there is some dithering of the audio, but the truth is, is the compression on streaming content is probably going to be more noticeable than anything this adds in there. Do you notice any lag when you're listening to it remotely like that? Not so far. Sync issues? That's one thing I ran into with some other products that do that similarly, is that the audio wasn't quite right, and if you look at the mouth and the mouth isn't synced to the what you hear, it can be a little distracting. So. Yeah. I, I, so far, is there anything wrong with this product? Well, sure. What's um, horrible? <laughs> if you love the YouTubes, you'll have to hack your way to it because there's no official YouTube channel yet. Yeah, Traditionally, Roku was like, we don't really have the performance on our boxes to give an acceptable YouTube interface performance. But with the faster processor, we're hoping it's going to show up. Um, you're going to need to load Plex or another third-party channel if you want to stream your own content. Uh, that's why we're all like, oh, Dropbox streaming, really? And let me hit, I'm let me hit play really on this curious really about that now. You plug this in, and no, it's not going to play any DRM to iTunes content. I know it's not an Apple TV, but I got to mention it, or otherwise people will email in. So, does it sound good? Do you see the sync? You feeling good about that? That's really good. The volume knobs on the side? Volume's good. And that volume control is not going to impact the volume control on the TV. Not at all. And you get the indicator on the screen. It's Ooh, that's so, really loud. Yes, it is. And the sync is pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's watchable. Ah, oh, just slightly off, but uh, this is not a, an official test at <laughs> well, it's all, also, by the way. But it's also just launching inside of the Netflix display, so oh, let Netflix do pretty streaming. Cool. I'm giving it a big thumbs up, two thumbs up. If, as far as I'm concerned, if you don't have a whole bunch of money tied up in Apple, uh, no? you know, in iTunes content, this is probably the go-to set-top box, delivering a much better performance than a lot of the features we've seen built into Blu-ray players nice. and HDTVs. So Do they have any kind of smartphone integration just off the top of my head? I'm just trying to, I'll have to investigate. I haven't I seen any, know. but I haven't looked for it. Good deal. Here, you, you talk about this and I'll see <laughs> well, if I can find hey, a phone. If you're looking for a home theater in a box, the best Blu-ray releases this week, or wondering where all the Nickelodeon cartoons went when they left Netflix, you want to head over to youtube.com slash tech feed, that's T-E-C-H feed, and look at the latest edition of HD Nation. And before you email us, yes, we will be bringing it to the Revision 3 RSS feed very soon. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and and more. What I'm listening to right now is Among Others by Joe Walton. If you're a science fiction and fantasy fan, you will love this book. Head over to audible.com slash Texella to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. And be sure to check out Audible's newly designed iPad app as well. It is gorgeous.